What's up my crypto legends in this episode we are taking a look at the bitcoin price here and as you can see i am doing a little bit of traveling i'll be back in the studio just in a few days doing my live streams and everything back to normal now zooming in here on the bitcoin price you know we are expecting potentially that another leg down because i do see as, as this as a potential abc correction but i was expecting a major leg up here just below the fifty thousand dollars are we going to have that major leg up before we have that next move to the downside we all know from this insane run up okay we can come as low as the thirty-eight thousand dollars, which would be round about the golden pocket area and we know that the forty thousand dollar range is a major resistance so we might have a see we might see a wick down below this range as we're going to talk about this scenario today and also the ethereum price because all depending on what bitcoin does how far down can ethereum go and we could go as low as two thousand six hundred dollars that would be my ultimate bottom for ethereum before we actually have that run up because it is around about the sixty two percent levels okay from this low to this high so we could come uh, technically all the way down here i'm going to show you the different levels and when to be start becoming bullish for ethereum in my opinion we can see some other altcoins absolutely popping such as terra quant elrond so nothing too bearish in the cryptocurrency space we are seeing these blockchain projects that are doing extremely well guys remember if you are interested in trading make sure to check out prime xbt they have the best bonus available using my link in the description you're getting 50 percent added to your deposit by using bitcoin census 50 as the promotion code you cannot withdraw this bonus it is used for buying power i have a full tutorial of prime xbd down below said this let's dive in straight into the video Hello there, Andy here. Welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe daily TA on Bitcoin crypto. I also do live streams to connect with the community and I'm not a financial advisor, so don't buy or sell anything that I say. Now let's dive in straight here onto the Bitcoin price, okay? On the daily chart with no indicators here. Let me just zoom in a little bit and let me explain how, you know, we are potentially not going to ever come below the $28,000. Now, if we zoom out on the weekly one second here, we do know that we've never ever in the history of Bitcoin, okay, we are in a massive uptrend here, as you can see on the logarithmic. We've never retested the all-time high of the last cycle. And especially if we take, you know, the all-time high from one cycle and to the low part of the cycle, we've also um, managed to hold as support very ni nicely the golden ratio, right? The 1.6 here on the Fibonacci retracement. Look how we had that really nice bounce right over here. Now, if we um, come all the way to the last cycle, uh, the cycle before 2017 that peaked here in um, late 2013 and we get the all-time high to the low part here which was around about the 160 dollars as you can see here on the chart we also bounced here very very nicely never retested the high here of 1200 dollar range the all-time high of late 2013 and we bounced always at the 1.6 okay golden ratio right over there now this is what has currently happened for btc in this cycle if we take the all-time high of 2017 and to the low part here around about the 3200 here from late uh, december from december of 2018 sorry we have got that nice bounce didn't we just below the thirty thousand dollar range around about the twenty eight thousand, which is the golden ratio here 1.6 uh, Fibonacci. Now, it wouldn't make sense if we did drop below this level. We have never retested the last all-time high from the cycle. The trend is, you know, it's we are on a massive uptrend, so there's nothing to be bearish about this. Yes, we do have diminishing returns on BTC, but whoever's calling for 25 or even 20k levels, I've I've heard people calling 30 um, ten thousand dollar Bitcoin in the next coming months, and it just doesn't make any sense, guys. The trend is your absolute friend. And and the trend is a, is a beast. There is diminishing returns, okay? The all-time highs are getting lower and lower. But as I mentioned on my last video of, you know, the potential... Um, peak of the cycle it would make sense around about the 170 180 thousand dollar peak of the of the cycle just because of the diminishing returns this cycle has not finished now ever said that we are going to get into a massive bear market it doesn't make any sense okay the massive the trend is your friend the trend hasn't been broken so um yeah exactly so it, it doesn't make sense a, lo a lot of people also saying that the fourth wave hasn't finished also we had talked about you know uh, in, on my last video let me just take here 
the waves here for anyone that hasn't watched my last video uh, from the all-time low of late December of 2018 this being the first wave the second wave not counting the black swan event so it would be round about here this being the third wave and the fourth wave here just below the $30,000 before we finish the fifth wave now in the next coming months okay four eight months approximately we do not know exactly when it's going to finish but we could have a projected move like I showed you on my last video now a lot of some people are saying that the fourth wave hasn't finished now as I mentioned we did hit round about the $28,000. It wouldn't make, we've never retested the uh, the all-time high from the last cycle. This would be just round about the $20,000 range. The golden ratio has always hold very, very nicely, which is the 1.6 Fibonacci. And yeah, it just wouldn't make sense if we did have a drop to $24,000, $23,000, unless we have that black swan event. Now, this could happen, but um, yeah, I think it's very, very unprobable at this moment. Now, let's take a look at the potential scenario here on the Bitcoin price on the four hourly chart here where I have my major resistance and support levels. Now, you know, I am bearish in the short term. Don't get me wrong. I am extremely bullish in the in the mid long term. Now, we did talk about this also being uh, an insane run up since late July. OK, potentially being one, two, three, four, five waves. OK, we had this fifth wave that, um, you know, had a last touch here of breaking the all time high. We did call very, very nicely this potential drop on the BTC price. Now, it would make sense after this major drop with this huge amount of volume Volume, that the bulls are scared all right there's not too much buying pressure uh, a lot of people are expecting maybe uh, that potential leg down so we can get cheaper bitcoin right so i'm i, I was actually expecting a major bounce here a little bit higher but if i zoom in on the chart we can clearly see that the $47,000 range, okay, plus minus a few hundred dollars because of the volatility has been a, an absolutely major, major support and resistance zone, as you can see here on the chart. So um, the price of BTC has struggled very, very much to get above this range, as you can see, zooming in here on the chart. You know, we did have that massive drop, a massive wick here to the upside, and we did not, we are not managing to get above the $47,000 range. Why? Because it has been a major support and resistance, and we've pierced through it with a huge amount of volume. Okay, now here we have a massive wick on the four hourly, but if you go to the 30 minute, 15 minute, you can clearly see that we um, actually closed below the $47,000, giving that the, the control to, to the bears. No, nope. so now if we just zoom in here on the one hourly, and take a look at the situation. Uh, yeah, we did also talk about on one of my latest videos a couple of days back. You know, you know this uh, being potentially uh, you know high, uh, lower lows and a higher low right over there. We were creating uh, lower highs here. We did break out, not too much volume, but we kind of retesting here still this this kind of neckline, no, the, this uh, resistance point from these lower highs. Um, now, are we going to break through it? Very possible that we are. I was kind of expecting the price of a BT to have uh, um, you know a nice bounce to the upside potentially breaking the forty seven thousand dollars you know as a potential fake out with not too much volume and then continuing to the downside but this drop has been really really bloody this drop has been insane so uh, we are seeing that the the bulls are not having any strength at all to come above this range now, if we do come back up the $47,000 with a huge amount of volume, we could come as high as almost uh, $50,000. And why, you may ask, because uh, it does look like that we are potentially forming kind of, without counting this massive wick, okay, this price action right over here, you know, we have this price action coming all the way back up here to the $47,000, major resistance. And now we're having this drop also round about the $45,000 range, which could turn up in a kind of double bottom without counting this wick okay if we do not count this wick we do see this price action right so if we do have that major run up here and break this range we could come as high as 50 almost fifty thousand dollars forty nine thousand five hundred dollars which would be the projected move from this kind of double bottom we have seen these patterns play out before a kind of a bart simpson inverted bart simpson this is a very you know um traditional bitcoin pattern right we haven't seen this usually on in the, uh, on stock markets or any other assets uh just bitcoin you know we have a major drop we have a kind of a spiky consolidation then then a major leg up so this is also a possibility but if we do lose the $44,000, this is where we are actually getting major bounces, as you can see here on the price of Ethereum. We did have a massive wick down there. Also, we are touching, you know, just below the, we did touch here around about the $44,000. $200. Um, as you can see, this is a major, major support range. 
So if we do lose this range, I think we are going to have a massive, massive leg down to the to this orange box, which is the forty thousand dollars. We have that next major wick to the downside. It does make sense, you know, that would be the projected move if this were to be a, a kind of a bull a bear flag and a consolidation. Then that next major leg down to the forty thousand dollars would make sense, which is our ultimate major support range here yeah, if i zoom out on on the chart okay let's go to the four hourly and you know this is the, the major level that we have been talking about now note that we could see some volatility below this range the forty thousand dollar area now it's been a major major resistance it, it will turn into some type of support expect maybe some volatility some consolidation here this is the area where i am going to start becoming extremely bullish okay guys i do see the price of btc getting a major major support around this area and then absolutely flying from here going back to the four hourly let me just take here the fibonacci retracement okay and this would be round about the golden pocket area in between the 50 percent and the 62 percent levels okay this is a major level i think you know as I mentioned, the ABC correction, if we did have that pump, this could be a potentially short opportunity because I do see another leg down. The bears are in control in the immediate short term and they have broken a major here uptrend structure. So they do have a, a power to actually have that next leg down, potentially hitting the 50, 62% levels, which would be, you know, round about the $40,000 area, plus minus a couple of thousand here because of the volatility. In my opinion, this is going to be a major buy zone. This is where we are going to consolidate and potentially the bulls are going to step back in and continue the run up around about October. So this is what I got for BTC here in the immediate short term. I am expecting that major leg down. I just do not know if it is going to come from here, from where we are right now, or we are going to have, you know, potentially that leg up and then continue continue to the downside so i am bearish here in the short term i'm expecting this potential move it is very very likely now let's take a look at the ethereum price here for this quick update because if um, bitcoin does drop down to that forty thousand dollar range major support level uh, finishing that ABC correction, then obviously Ethereum is going to get uh, a pretty big hit. I'm not sure if the $2,900, $800 range will be holding. We might see um, the Ethereum price breaking this major support, but very, very quickly. This is a major resistance that were that happened here in May. Okay, we didn't manage to break above the $2,900 area here, as you can see, for major attempts. And we did finally have that kind of dead cap scenario retesting the lows here okay as you can see so it is a major major resistance that will be turning into support we just barely touched it here with a wick we had major support here also um, during the month of august as you can see and finally breaking the three thousand three hundred dollar area here nicely now the bears are in control in the immediate short term if we do see the price of ethereum dropping below the 2900 and between 2900 and 2600 i think this is going to be the major consolidation phase before we actually have the run-up okay just like bitcoin forty thousand dollar is the major support bottom in my opinion i think uh, for ethereum it's going to be in between the 2900 and the 2800 dollar range just because this of, of this major major resistance zone also here where i have my pink box we do have a major resistance here as you can see on the price action of ethereum but most importantly from this massive run up from the low to the top it is um, the golden pocket okay we have the 50 percent levels and we also have the 61 percent levels of the golden pocket ratio so if this were to be uh, a kind of a of a bull uh, a bear flag sorry and and we are going to have that abc correction coming all the way down to the golden pocket ratio of this massive run-up it is in between the 2900 and the 2600 areas which would be my ultimate buy zone here for a potential swing trade for the mid long run okay guys so this would be my bearish targets here in the immediate short term i do not see bitcoin or ethereum getting a massive recovery from this point at this moment having that major leg down here with this huge amount of volume it is very very likely we'll be going sideways or having a little bit of a pump before we continue and having that major leg down in the next coming days so this is what i got for today's update guys make sure to check out the bitcoin census website we've got the latest news and technical analysis here also the latest technical analysis as you can see you know ethereum bearish predictions play out um 
And then is this major support going to hold? Now, if we take a look at it, the Ethereum price here, also zooming in on the four hourly chart, we are creating technically here, uh, kind of these higher lows. And this is where we are actually getting supported. Okay, let me just show you right over here. We have this major support range creating higher lows. We kind of wicked below. Is this major support, this kind of trend going to continue? Or are we gonna get it broken? You can check out here the technical analysis that we got on the website. We also have the latest news, Ukraine legally embraces crypto cryptocurrencies you know absolutely inc uh, good information here totally free down below in the description and if you haven't seen my prime xbt or my bybit tutorial to learn how to trade on those platforms there's a video on the screen right now thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one